Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Getting the music going. There we go. All right. You know the drill. Move, critter, stretch, do all the things you need to do. We will get started in just a few moments. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, guys. It's my last few days in this place. I'm trying to just soak it in and be present and just uh, be here, right? So just roll out the body, get yourself settled, get yourself comfortable. We're going to start standing up. So take a second, get yourself grounded in the feet. Take a moment to breathe. Roll out those shoulders, roll out that neck one time. Take a long, deep inhale through the nose. A big sigh out the mouth. Bend the knees, just kind of side to side here. You have the arms just kind of floating along with them. Shoulders can get onto it a little bit. Get a little bit deeper, taking it side to side. Getting those arms a little closer to the ground. Don't fall backwards. And then now just take it with some side to side sliding lunges. Some nice deep breaths, sitting back in the heels for just three, two, and one. Let's just switch it into a nice downward facing dog. So bring the hands in front of you, feet behind you, heels working to get those towards the ground, palms pressed flat into the ground. Hips nice and high and nice little tuck of the tailbone. Pedaling out those feet a little bit for a little bit of an extra stretch of those hamstrings. We're just pedaling out those feet for another four, three, two, one. Come meet me in a nice um, high plank. Take the right foot on the outside of those hands. You're on a nice runner lunge here, taking that right elbow down towards that right ankle. Now you're gonna twist and feel that right arm up high towards the sky. One more time, getting it a little bit deeper in the body, right elbow to that right ankle. Twist and peel up nice and high. Drop that right hand, send that right foot back, and just switch it out for the left. Left elbow on the outside of those hands. Sorry, left foot, taking that left elbow down to the ground. And then you take that left hand up high towards the sky. One more time, left elbow, getting in a little deeper, sinking into the hips, and then bringing that left hand up nice and high. Bring that left hand down, bring that left foot back, bring those hips down to the ground, untuck those toes, nice upward facing dog, nice open chest, roll the shoulders back so the shoulders are away from the ears. Maybe you wanna rock the weight right to left, a little side to side to open up through the chest. Oh yeah, I feel that one. We're just here for another three, two, and one. Bringing those hips down a little bit towards the ground. We're gonna slowly bend those elbows, melting that chest into the floor for just five. Stomach first for four. Middle of the body for three, two, and one. Let's peel it up one more time, peeling it up, going backward now. So a small lift of the head. Coming up for four, three, two, one. Bring it back into that downward facing dog. Tuck those toes. Downward facing dog. Walk the hands to meet the feet. Grab the elbows so you're in a nice forward fold. A little bit more weight going forward. Rock it side to side. Stretching out that core for just three, two, one. Let the arms go. Slowly roll it up. Because guys, we got to get to class. So take a second to shake it out as I explain today's class. One of my favorite formats. It is going to be four moves, one round. So it's one, two, three, four, one minute per move. No rest in between. Then you get a minute of rest at the end. You can do what you want with that minute of rest. You're able to just rest. You can just shake it around. You can just kind of stretch it out, whatever feels good for you. But I'm gonna explain each block as we go. We're gonna be legs, glutes, core, arm, and then finish with a nice little inner thigh 
glute core kind of covers just like that whole midsection. So the legs we're gonna start, it'll be a squat to a side kick. So you'll just squat it back and then give me a nice side kick. Whatever feels good for that side kick. Important though with the side kick, you're not like karate chopping it all the way. You want that weight nice and centered and you want that kick to the side. So hips trying to stay squared forward. Then a slow split squat to the right and then to the left. So what that's gonna look like, you want the two legs kind of 90-90, a nice little tuck of the tailbone, hips squared off to the side slowly coming it down that knee kind of kissing but not really trying to get that other knee not too far forward over that ankle last move will be just an alternating curtsy lunge nice and simple you'll take it side with that foot behind you and then with that foot behind you don't worry about getting super low you do what feels good in your body but you got four moves one round one minute of move no rest in between and then we'll get to that final minute finisher and then we'll move you on to the next part getting ready in 10 seconds Getting ready for that squat to a side kick. It's gonna wake up those legs. You got three, two, one, we are on. So take it down for a nice deep squat and then kick it out for a side kick. With those hands, you can kind of do whatever feels good for you. Use the arms to kind of kick out with you. But focus on that form first. Really push through that heel with that side kick. You're not getting high, don't worry. It can be just a nice little low kick but you're just staying focused, centered, and present. Breathe. Only about 20 more seconds left. You need a little lower in that squat. Keep that core nice and centered and tight and wrapped around through you. Think of it as like a little zipper. Ooh, all the way in for just four. Three, we're going to that slow split squat in two and one. Slow split squat, whatever forward, one foot forward, one foot back, whatever one you want to start with. But you're bringing it down nice and slow. And then you're bringing it up nice and slow. Sometimes you gotta slow things down to speed things up. What does that mean? So, you can't always just go fast, fast, fast and expect that strength to build. Strength comes from slowing down because strength requires you to actively be present, right? You have to really think about that mind to muscle connection. So you gotta think about where am I building here and how am I doing this? You can't do that if you're moving fast. So slow and steady for just another 10 seconds. Keeping those hips square to the front. Nice slow bend in those legs. For just another four, three, two, and one. Switch that side. Whew, shake it out if you need to. So you're coming back. Slow split squat on the other side. Might take a second to catch your balance because your body was moving one way. And you're used to doing one thing. And then you just gotta switch it up. Can't keep doing the same thing over and over and expect different results. Just tap in. Lower than you've been going. Okay, your legs are gonna burn a little bit after this, and that's okay. Sometimes you gotta feel things. Get about 15 more seconds. We're gonna go into those alternating curtsy lunges. A little bit of work on those glutes, a little on those legs. About four, three, ah, and two. And one, shake it out, quick second. Alternating curtsy lunges, we are on. Sticking that leg behind you, down, back up. Now the arms, do a little bit of like a bicep curl here. If you are, most important, Keeping that chest nice and spread open. Keeping the shoulders down and away from the ears. Keeping a nice, relaxed jaw. You can flutter the lips. A little lion's breath. Whatever you need to do, keep yourself settled. 20 more seconds. trying to get you out of it, I'm trying to get you into it. Because when you're trying to just escape things, it's 
not going anywhere. But if you're trying to integrate things, it's going somewhere. Okay, three, two, and one. One minute of rest. You rest as you need to. Breathe, stretch, whatever. I'm gonna explain the next part. You're gonna be on your back, two glute bridges to four abductors. So, two glute bridges, simple enough. Abductors, leg, gonna go in and out about an inch. Tiny little motions, four of those. Then from here, it'll be a circle glute bridge. So you're gonna take the hips, circle them up, circle them all the way around to the other side, and that's your circle glute bridge. Then you do it just other side, back and forth. Then you flip it around onto your forearms. You're gonna do a nice leg extension crossover. So on the forearms, extend the leg out, cross knee behind the, uh, the knee on the ground, extend it out, bring it back. Cross, bring it back. Last two moves, or last move. You're gonna give me a donkey, to a fire hydrant, to a straight leg extension kick, to a straight side kick. Ooh, you got five seconds though, so meet behind your back, glute bridge, to abductor two by four. I'll walk you through it. Three, two, one, we're on. All right, you guys, give me two glute bridges to four abductors. When you're doing those glute bridges, you still want the chin away from the chest. Obviously, you're going up that head nice and neutral. Those four abductors, tiny little motions of those legs going in and out. You want a little extra more? You put those hands on the side of their thighs and you need for some self-resistance. You, we are really good at resisting ourselves. Lift those hips up, squeeze those glutes, take a deep breath, close those eyes if you feel comfortable and settled. In four, we're going to switch to circles. In three, and one circle, circle glute bridges. So take the hips over to one side, lift all the way through the center, bring it back down, and gently kiss the ground. This one, have a little bit of fun with this one, you know. Not that serious. Oftentimes we think our movement practice is like we have to get super dived in and super serious. But have a little bit of fun with it. Makes it a little more enjoyable. Makes it enjoyable, the time goes by a little quicker. The time actually kind of doesn't move any quicker or slower. It just moves up. We have 15 seconds, then we're going to flip into our forearms those crossover leg extensions and having nice oh, back smoothing the boots for just four, three, getting ready to turn over onto our forearms in two and one quick flip onto the forearms, leg extension crossover. So on the forearms, nice open chest, extend the leg out behind you nice and long, bring that knee without long and then knee them together, making sure are not curving the back when you are extending that leg. You extend that leg as long as that leg can go. Not as long as you want it to go. Let's do it. Because you are one fluid thing. So don't think that you can outsmart it. Be with it and meet the body where it's at. Here. No rush. Ten more seconds, and then we're in that donkey to fire hydrant, to a leg extension, to a side kick in three, two, one. Come up onto those hands. So nice flat back. Give me one donkey kick, to one fire hydrant, to one straight leg extension behind you, to one side kick. I got to turn to make a little more room. So one donkey to one fire hydrant, whoops, to one leg extension, to one side kick. That side kick is hard. If it's not serving you today, you can just bring it into a fire hydrant. You only have about 30 seconds to go. And then you get a whole minute of rest. You're almost there. Yeah, this one is testing you, I know. Yeah. 
Give me four. Three. Two. Don't quit early. One. And for good measure, kicking that one out. So core now. Simple. You're going to give me a forearm plank. So simple low plank. You're going to hold this for 30. Then hip dips. You're going to take it side to side. Trying not to come up high in the center. Nice and low. Real holding core strong. So forearm plank to hip dip. Then from here, it'll be a side plank wrap with a leg lift. So I like to do this up on my hand. I have one knee on the ground. I take my arm out nice and long. I go whoops, to wrap that hand all the way around, really knee out through the center. Bring that hand back up in one fluid motion as that hand comes up, that leg comes up. Now, you're trying not, you don't need to get it super high, just a little lift so you feel that squeeze. Ooh. One side, other side, and then last but not least, slow crunches. So just simple slow crunches on your back. Guys, you got 10 seconds, meet me in that forearm plank. Getting ready for that forearm plank for 30 to a hip dip for 30. Forearm plank in four, three, two, and one, we are in. So palms glued into the mat if they're there or you're in a prayer pose. Forearms pushing forward, pushing back in those heels, a little tuck of that tailbone, collarbone open, and breathe. Be still, be present. Don't run away from the feeling. Run towards it, feel it. Know that you have the opportunity to feel it. We're going to the side to side hip dips now. So taking it side to side. Hips are going towards the mat. You're ringing out through the center of the body. Seconds. Stay present. In four, three, two, and one come up into that side plank wrap with the nice leg lift. Let's take the arm up nice and high. Bring that arm, wrap it, that center underneath you. Bring it up, and in one nice movement, leg lift as the hand goes up. Be nice and fluid, and feel the flow here. About halfway there. So in that wrap, can you pull a little bit more through the center. In that lift up, can you feel like there is something pulling you up towards the sky? Just another centimeter. Four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Other side now. So bring that up, up, up arm high towards the sky. Wrap it underneath you. One flow, lift, and lower. Lift are staying square to the center. You're balancing through the body. That lift is strong and powerful, just like you. Halfway to go. You're gonna flip onto your back some very intentional, slow crunches. Breathe. In three, two, and one. Flip it onto the back, slow crunches. Last little part of your abs. Lift and lower. Those elbows are out to the side. The hands are by the ears. You're not using the hands to lift the neck. You're using the core to lift the body. Don't worry about lifting super high. The goal is to get the shoulders off the ground. If you need a little bit of extra reminder, sometimes I like to put the hands on the center of the body. A, because I love a little moment of touch. And then B, helps me connect where my mind and my muscles need to be. 
15. Then you get a whole minute of rest before we go into our arms. And then we're almost done. In three, two, two, and one. All right, one minute of rest. Let me explain the arms. We have five minutes, no rest at the end. You're welcome. So you can be high here on the knees or up on the feet. If you're on the feet, I'll give you some leg variations. But to show you, arms are gonna go out, palms are gonna go out, little bend in those elbows, roof raisers. We're gonna just lift up and down. You're not moving the shoulders. This is squeezing the biceps and almost from squeezing the biceps is what's keeping you up and down. So that's your roof raiser, breaststroke. You're gonna hinge back a little in the hips. You're gonna take the arms forward, shoulders are gonna stay back, swim it all the way around, all the way to the back and then swim it forward. So breaststroke, forward to backwards reach, similar thing, you're gonna stay nice and hinged. You're gonna reach the arms forward and then you're just gonna pull and reach the arms back. And when you're pulling back, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Last two moves, tricep pulse, palms up towards the sky, little tricep pulse. And last but not least, fly away like the roof raisers, but the palms are going down towards the ground and you're gonna really feel it a little more in the chest, a little up and down. You guys, you got three seconds, roof raisers in three, two, and one. So a little bend in those knees, roof raisers. If you want a little extra, join me on one leg. If you're on that one leg, the hips are trying to stay squared center, side to side, not lifting that hip because that leg is up. That leg is not up, no worries. You're just down, holding it down. If you're with me on one leg, we're gonna switch it in three to the other leg, in two, but the motion in the arm stays the same. One, keep it going. Ooh, that sweat is dripping down me right now. 20 seconds, and we're gonna switch it into that breaststroke. A present. Four, three, two, and one breaststroke. So a little hinge in those hips, bring those arms forward, and swim it all the way back. If you want a little bit extra, you lift the toes when you go forward, you slowly lower those heels when you break back. A little bit of balance, a little bit of extra core work there as you're really lifting through the center of the body. About halfway there, you do not have to move those legs. You are still getting a lot out of those arms, but are you squeezing that navel in towards the spine? Feel like you're giving yourself a hug through the core by wrapping around the body. 10 seconds. After this, it's gonna be that forward to backwards reach. In four, three, two, one. So forward to backwards reach, reach the arms forward and reach the arms back. Squeezing those shoulder blades together as you reach back. Palms are facing towards each other. You want a little extra in the legs, little abductors, bringing those legs in and out. Little tiny movements here. When you're reaching forward, the shoulders are staying away from the ears. Think of it as a nice little, little allergy to the ears. If they get too close, it gets uncomfortable. 24 seconds. For this it's those tricep pulses keep it moving we got this in four three and two tricep pulses all right you guys a little hinge in those hips still nice flat back palms are facing up high towards the sky just moving ever so slightly. You're squeezing those arms. You're keeping that core nice and centered. You want a little bit more in the feet. You can pony those knees. So you just lift one heel, lift the other heel. Feeling a little bit of that burn in those legs. Again, that lower ab firing up. Help move those legs. 20 four more seconds. That's too much. You just keep those feet down. 
This is enough. 15 seconds. We're gonna finish off with those flyaways. We're heading down to the mat for a little inner thigh finisher. In four, three, two, one. Coming back up towards the center. Take those arms out to the side, my palms down. Little flyaways up down. Again, you're not moving from the shoulders. It's from squeezing those biceps. If you want a little more, you just bend into those knees. You come up. Slight little bends here, up and down. But those arms, make sure those arms are moving. Breathe. more seconds, little motions, little movements make a big impact. Those little daily decisions that they're doing, that's what makes the big changes. So in these last five seconds, reflect on that. In three, two, one, release those arms. You don't need that last minute of rest because we're done. So, oh no, wait, did I forget something? Oh no, we're good. So. All right, you guys, whoops, dropping the phone. So we're going on to the, the inner thighs. So come down to the mat, so come on down to the side. We're gonna do a nice little inner thigh finisher. Pick whatever side you wanna start with. You can be up on the elbow or all the way down on the ground, but support yourself by squaring off those hips and getting nice and centered. So you're gonna do little leg lifts, tiny little lifts, and then you're gonna give me forward circles with that little lift and then backward circles with that lift. And then a hip floss, I'm gonna have the knees, I like to bend the knees. You're gonna bring one knee in front of the knee on the ground. Then you're gonna bring that toe, wrap it around to touch that toe behind that knee on the ground. And then last but not least, you're gonna give me those legs back out straight. You're gonna lift the leg in a flex. You're gonna point the toe, you're gonna flex the toe, and then you're gonna bring it back down. So you're gonna lift with a flex, point, flex, bring it back down. Guys, you got five minutes, 30 seconds per move. No rest in between, you got this. Getting ready in five and four those little lifts are starting in three two one we are on little lifts lift and lower you can have the hand in front of you for a little support hand on the hip wrapping around that waist hand behind the head or if you're down on the ground you just have those arms down little lifts this will burn here on that shoulder, making sure you're lifting up through the center of the body so you're not just spilling into it. A little support here. In three, we're gonna go into those circles. In two, and one, little forward circles. I know. I know. I know how it feels. We all know how it feels, trust me. Every single one of us feels it with you together. 15 seconds at any moment you need a break, you just do that, shake it out, tap those glutes, and then you get right back into it. You have seven more seconds. Oh, we're gonna flip it back in three. Holy shit, in two, in one. Ah, I need a break too, taking it backwards. And I'm gonna come down. I get a little bit more relief when I come down into the ground. But I'm still not compromising form. My hips are still squared in towards the center. My core is still wrapped in tight. And these movements are tiny, tiny, tiny. You have about 10 seconds left. Stick with it. Hip loss in four. In three. Ah! In two. In one. Hip loss. Nice little bend in those knees. Bring that knee in front of that knee. And then bring that toe behind that knee. Trying to keep those hips nice and square. Floss your teeth twice a day, or at least I hope you do. You should floss your hips. Once a day would be great. 10 more seconds. We're going into that final flex point flex lift in four, three, two, one. Take those legs out nice and long. So you're gonna flex that foot, lift in the flex, point, flex, bring it down. Flex, point. Feel that leg really stretch out here. Show it a little love. 
you're here to support it, it's here to support you. We're all here to support each other. In just three, we're gonna switch sides in two, one. Guys, switch it to the other side. Don't be too dramatic. We tend to be a little dramatic. Little lifts here. Lift and lower. Again, pulling up through the center of the body. You're not letting everything spill into the shoulder. Those hips are squared. The toes probably pointed. 10 more seconds. Then you got that burner of a circle section. But you made it. In three, two, one, we're here with these forward circles. Little motions. Big. You can always take that second to breathe. Come down. Gives me a little more support. You've got four and three and two and one. Switching directions, going backwards. Even if you're down on the ground. Oh, I need a second. You are still lifting through the body. Powering through because you are much stronger than these tiny little circles. Just something you're doing for a little bit of time. In four, hip floss in three, in two, and one. Bend those knees. We are flossing those hips. Bring that knee in front of that front knee or that bottom knee on the ground. And then bring that leg up and floss that toe behind that back knee. Try not to rock the body too much. You're gonna have to move a little bit because that's just human nature. 15 seconds, and you're in the final flex, plane flex. In four, three, two, and one. Your final flex, point flex. So flex, point, flex, back down. Breathe. You're almost there. Give me six, five, four, three, two, one. Done. You made it. We made it. We did it. You know the drill. Ah, a quick little picture. So many new faces. It's always fun. Getting ready. In four. And three, and two, and one. Thank you guys so much. It's an honor. It's a pleasure. Tuesday or Thursday will be 7 a.m. I will send a message. Thank you guys. I also love seeing the sister crew. Great. I'll see everyone soon. Bye, everyone.